In Seattle University researchers, Seattle police and community members are holding meetings throughout the summer to form the next micro community policing plans. Crime data and resources play a role, but so does public input. Property crime, police capacity, and homelessness were the top three public safety concerns citywide in a recently released Seattle Public Safety Survey. But researchers also went neighborhood by neighborhood and found different results. In Beacon Hill and Judkins Park, for example, traffic safety topped the list, while in Montlake and Portage Bay, drugs and alcohol and homelessness were top concerns. All summer, researchers and Seattle police officers will meet with neighborhoods to discuss the findings and form micro community policing plans that unite neighbors and SPD to find ways to address top issues. Oftentimes, community members may feel disconnected from the police. We're trying to put a human face on both the police and the community. It comes as top leaders also search for solutions. Western District U.S. Attorney Nick Brown hosted leaders from districts across the nation in Seattle today. He says making neighborhoods safer requires more than law enforcement resources. So that comes both from, you know, referrals to law enforcement, but also helping law enforcement or other governmental uh, agencies know the type of resources and help that they need. Those are often going to have nothing to do with prosecutors or nothing to do with law enforcement. That might mean they need more, you know, community centers or youth programs or what have you. The SPD input sessions are planned for each precinct over the next few weeks. They also have events where you can meet recruits and give community insight. For more on how to attend, text the word safety to 206-448-4545. In the studio, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.